What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel I hope you guys are well and having a good day Today on the news we're gonna talk about Lewandowski And how almost he end up in Real Madrid playing alongside his idol Cristiano Ronaldo Also on the news we have Jadon Sancho He is open to return to Manchester City this summer if an offer is made And also Manchester City is seeking and is trying to sign Hakimi from Real Madrid, the player is currently on loan at Borussia Dortmund. But check all of this news and much more next in the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like guys, the support in the last transfer videos have been low so I would, uh, I would like to ask you guys if you don't mind to leave a like in this video. Let's try to reach 400 likes in this video guys, I know you can do it so smash that like button, it is really really important for me and for the channel to grow. So enjoy the video guys, let's go! Ok guys another day another transfer video and today we start with Tottenham they have joined the race to sign Paris Saint Germain defender Thiago Silva reports the Sun. Silva will be a free agent at season's end with Jose Mourinho eager to bolster his defensive stocks with the Brazilian veteran. Fellow Premier League sides Arsenal and Everton are also interested in landing the defender whose wages may be stumbling block for Spurs. Bayern Munich defender Flavius has agreed to sign for Nice according to Nice Matin. The 19 year old who was previously part of Real Madrid's academy will undergo fitness tests with Nice on Monday ahead of the deal being completed. Jadon Sancho would consider a return to Manchester City if an offer is made, claims the Sun. The Borussia Dortmund star has been linked with a possible move to Manchester United in the summer but has reportedly told friends he is open to a return to the Manchester City side. Sancho left City for Dortmund in 2017 after initially moving to the Manchester City from Watford in 2015. Mainz manager Rovan Schroeder has confirmed his club are in talks with Liverpool over keeping Tayo at Opel Arena. The 22 year old joined last summer and initially struggled for game time, however the Nigerian has experienced something of a resurgence since the Bundesliga resumed. Le Havre midfielder Pape Gai has rejected claims he will join Watford next season in a statement delivered to the equipe. Despite the Premier League club previously announcing the deal, Gay has stressed he won't be joining the club after suspect negotiations. I wanted to speak out against the circumstances surrounding the signature of a contract with Watford and what I consider to be irregularities with their representatives, he said. After numerous dis discussions, I conclude that there has not been any considerable administrative actions taken to resolve my case. As a result, and in consideration of the fact that the contract has not yet taken hold, I announced the end of all negotiation links with Watford. Gay has however confirmed he won't be playing for Le Havre next season with his future now up in the air. Veteran Fabian Johnson is closing in on a move to MLS next season and will not be signing as a designated player. SBI Soccer reports that Johnson's salary demands would only making him a targeted allocation money signing with a number of clubs reportedly interested. Former Celtic winger Johnny Hayes is a target for Aberdeen according to the Daily Record. Talks between the two have already begun with Aberdeen eager to complete a deal quickly. A two-year contract is on the table and Hayes is willing to take a pay cut compared to what he was making at Celtic. Chelsea are desperate to sell a number of fringe players as they look to complete more signings over the summer, claims the Sun. With Timo Werner and Kai Havertz in the blue sights, Frank Lampard has given the club the green light to sell Bakayoko, Emerson, Zappa Costa, Danny Drinkwater, Michi Batshuayi and Victor Moses. While Chelsea are eager to cash in, it is unlikely they will make a profit on any of them this summer in a coronavirus affected transfer market. Celtic defender Jack Hendry is set to leave the club for another loan deal according to the Daily Record. A Belgian club are eager to seal a deal for next season with Celtic seemingly open to letting the player leave again. Everton are set to receive a bid of just 2 million euros for midfielder Morgan Schneiderlin reports the Daily Mail. The Toffees paid Manchester United 27 million euros for the Frenchman in 2017 and now Nice are looking to sign him for just a fraction of that fee. Paris Saint-Germain have identified Borussia Dortmund striker Haaland as a transfer target according to Foot Mercato. 
the French club want the Norwegian frontman to be the first to arrive to PSG this summer as Thomas Tuchel, their manager, looks to make several changes to his squad. If PSG completes a deal for Haaland, they will then turn their attention to Rennes teenager Eduardo Camavinga and Lazio midfielder Milinkovic Savic. Inter are well placed to secure the signature of Barcelona fullback Nelson Semedo this summer according to Marca. The 26-year-old could be included as part of any deal which sees Lautaro Martinez swap San Siro for Camp Nou, but the two clubs are yet to reach a final agreement on a fee. Juventus and Manchester City were also linked with Semedo earlier this year, but the former won't match his wage demands and the latter are unwilling to exchange João Cancelo for him. Chelsea, Tottenham and West Ham are all interested in signing Rome goalkeeper Paul Lopez, according to Stadio Deportivo. The Genoa Rossi are willing to let the 25-year-old leave Stadio Olimpico if their 40 million euros valuation is met. Rome are thinking of targeting Napoli's David Ospina as a potential replacement for Lopez when the transfer market reopens. Inter are planning to keep hold of teenage Sebastiano Esposito beyond the summer according to Calcio Mercato. Parma, Atalanta and Fiorentina have all been credited with an interest in the 17-year-old whose current contract at San Siro expires in 2022. Esposito has featured in 12 matches for Inter this season and the club are hoping he will continue his development in the Italian capital. Paris Saint-Germain have identified Ajax and Porto fullbacks Nicolas Tagliafico and Alex Telles as potential summer transfer targets according to Luten Sport. The French champions want to bring in one of the two men to replace Kurzawa, who will leave the club when his current contract expires at the end of the month. PSG may face competition from Chelsea in their search for a new left back with the Premier League club also being linked with Tagliafico and Alex Telles. Napoli president has confirmed that the club have offered Mertens a new deal. Mertens has been a key member of Gennaro Gattuso's squad throughout the 2019-2020 campaign, but his current contract is due to expire at the end of the month. Chelsea and Inter are reportedly expressed an interest in signing the Belgium international in January, and as it stands, he will be available on a free transfer from July onwards. Robert Lewandowski wanted to join Real Madrid to play alongside Cristiano Ronaldo before being persuaded to sign for Bayern Munich according to the striker's former advisor. The Poland international linked up with Bayern on a free transfer from Bundesliga rivals Borussia Dortmund in 2014 and has been a prolific source of goals during his time at the Allianz Arena. However, the 31-year-old's career could have turned out very differently if Lewandowski had denied his agreement with Bayern and followed through with his desire to be Ronaldo's teammate. Paris Saint-Germain are determined to sign Milan left-back Theo Hernandez when the transfer window reopens, according to Calcio Mercato. The Rossoneri are only willing to listen to offers within the region of 50 million euros for the 22-year-old who moved to Milan from Real Madrid last year. PSG are prepared to meet Milan's valuation and tie Hernandez down to a contract which will see him earn 5 million euros per year in the French capital. Manchester City are monitoring Real Madrid right back Hakimi according to us. Pep Guardiola thinks the 21-year-old who is currently on loan at Borussia Dortmund would slot into his starting lineup at Man City nicely next season. However, Dortmund are hoping to extend Hakimi's loan and he is currently tied to a contract with Madrid through the 2022 season. Chelsea are in talks to sign Brentford winger Sad Berama, according to RMC Sport. Frank Lampard is eager to add the 24-year-old to his ranks when the summer transfer window opens. Berama has also been linked with Leicester and Arsenal, but Chelsea are now well placed to win the race for his signature. Real Madrid legend Iker Casillas will not pursue his bid to become the next president of the Spanish Football Federation. Casillas announced his decision in a statement following confirmation from incumbent Luis Rubiales that he would seek a further term at the head of the governing body. NBA player from Brooklyn Nets Kevin Durant has bought stakes in Philadelphia Union. Untelar has signed a one-year contract extension with Ajax. 
Paris Saint-Germain have been in contact with David Alaba's agents, reports Sky Sports. PSG are set to lose Thiago Silva, Thomas Meunier and Kurzawa this summer, leaving a number of holes on the back line. Alaba, long regarded as one of the world's more versatile defenders, would be able to fill those holes and the Austrian has yet to sign a new deal with Bayern Munich. According to Calcio Mercato, the Napoli star parted ways with Mino Raiola over differences in the opinion over the winger's future and he has joined GEV Sports and Management. It makes me proud to have you in our agency and it's a privilege to work with you, Agent Vicentro said of Insigne. Today is an important day for us, Captain. We are happy to have you with us as a man and happy to be able to represent you as a player. Full speed ahead. Juventus coach Maurizio Sarri is keen on a reunion with two former Chelsea charges, reports The Express. Sarri is looking to bring in Jorginho, who also worked with the Italian at Napoli, and Marcus Alonso to Turin this summer. Federico Bernardeschi and Adrian Rabiot could be used in a four-player exchange deal. Marco van Ginkel has opened the talks to renew his Chelsea contract the player revealed to AD. The 27-year-old joined the Blues in 2014 but has played just four times for the club, spending time on loan at Milan, Stoke City and PSV. An injury has kept him out of action for the last two years. And finally to win the video guys, Julian Green has signed a new deal with his current team, the club announced on Monday. The 2014 World Cup veteran's new deal sees the midfielder extend his contract by one season with the potential of adding another season on top of that down the line. Green has been with the team since joining the club on loan in 2017 from Stuttgart. Actually guys, there's one more new in this video, Timo Werner has reportedly decided not to be part of Leipzig's Champions League squad for their matches in August, so he can settle in and train with Chelsea squad in July, according to Build. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said in the beginning, the support in the last transfer videos have been low, so I would like to ask you guys if you could drop a like in this video, it is really really important for me and for the channel to grow, so let's try to reach 400 likes in this video, so click that like button, it only takes one second and it is really really important. Also leave a comment down below about the video, rumors, confirmations, about ideas that you want me to make, anything that you want want me to answer you guys also subscribe if you're new stay safe i'm defaults and i'll see you guys in the next video